Hey everyone. La Menswear here. Bringing you the complete history of the birth of the MA-1 bomber jacket. Until World War II, flight jackets were broken down according to five climate zones. Ranging from very light for hot temperatures to very heavy for very cold temperatures. According to that system, the MA-1 belonged to the intermediate zone, which went from 14 degrees Fahrenheit to 50 degrees Fahrenheit. The intermediate zone started with the V-6 jacket in 1936 and saw many very interesting jacket designs. In order to understand how the MA-1 was born, we need to look at what was before it. The B-15 Jackets The B-15 series started with the B-15 in 1944 and saw multiple design iterations. Each iteration came with a different letter, A, B, C and D. The fabric, the colorway and some hardware evolved with each iteration. All in all, they were all similar to the MA-1 to a certain degree, the B-15D being the closest. Now, if we zoom into the B-15D, we can see that it's very similar to the first iteration of the MA-1 jacket. Except for the fur collar. So what happened? It's very important to understand that flight clothing evolved in response to the evolution of aircraft technology. Therefore, in the case of jackets, each design or hardware feature that you see was there for a reason. During World War II, the most import aircraft evolution happened. All parties involved in the war started developing jet aircrafts. No country however achieved the perfect jet aircraft during the war, so this new technology didn't really contribute in winning the war for anybody. In fact, that's after World War II that most air forces around the globe transitioned to jet aircrafts. In terms of flight jackets, this had one major impact. Pilot headgear had to evolve to protect pilots from new threats, notably vibrations from increasing speeds. The fur collar on the B-15 jackets got in the way of this new helmet design and thus it had to be removed. The U.S. Air Force still had stock of B-15A, B, C and D jackets. Instead of throwing them away, they removed the fur collars and replaced them with wool net rib collars. They then sewn a new white tag onto the original black tag of the B-15 jackets, or sometimes on the lining, and called these new B-15 jackets mod for modified, while the U.S. Air Force depleted the stocks of B-15 mad jackets until the early 50s, they created the successor of the B-15 jackets. The MA-1 Bomber Jacket it was based almost 100% on the B-15D MAD jacket and became official uniform in 1952. The main differences between the B-15D MAD and the MA-1 were the specification number and the different color used for the color, and that's it. That's how the MA-1 was born. If you like this video don't forget to subscribe. Many more coming soon.